Hi, I'm Monica Bay, and we're at the University of Florida, and with John Tredenick, who I've known since almost the first day I heard the word e-discovery. Um, Always good to be with you, Monica. It's just absolutely delightful. Thank you. Tell us about your company, and uh, if you'd spend just a moment telling people who might not know you about you, how you ended up with the company when you were the, a, a lawyer, yep. and then I want to talk about the programs that you're doing for University of Florida. You bet. I'm, as, as, you, as we said, John Tredenick, and I founded uh, Catalyst in 2000 after spending 20, uh, 20 plus years as a trial lawyer and a litigation partner. I started in the early 80s, and as we morphed into the 90s, heading to the 2000s, uh, I began to realize that discovery, e even though we didn't have an E on the front end, of it, right. but discovery was becoming a crucial part of the litigation process, and that with the increased volumes, first of paper and images, and then of email and digital content, I knew that they were going we're going to need special systems that would allow us to uh, search and analyze these volumes of material and frankly special people that would understand both the technology and the law and could uh, could take advantage of what these new tools could offer to help make the litigation process and you were more efficient. One of, you were one of the pioneers when you were at the firm because you started it out within the firm, if I remember correctly, and then decided to spin it out, which was one of the, this was before the Silicon Valley uh, trend of trying to do every kind of thing. Briefly tell us a little bit more about that. Well, it's in the mid-90s and yep. we began building systems to connect together the 10 offices in my firm and particularly my focus was on litigation. Well, the internet was just taking off at that time and I had a lot of smart people working with me and the suggestion was, why don't we use that? We called it an intranet at the time, mm -hmm. meaning it was an internal system and it was in 1998 that we were having such success with it that we started forming extranets where we would connect people, clients and people from different law firms together to give them access to the case documents and the litigation documents. And the rest is history. Well, by the uh, end of the 90s, we began getting so many calls from other law firms who wanted to use our system and techniques, even though they didn't want to use us as lawyers, that I suggested to the management committee that maybe it's time to spin this out into its own business. Well, it's been very, very successful, and you are definitely one of the elite groups. So John, let's talk about what you're doing for the University of Florida because you've been very quietly doing some very exciting things. Well, I am excited. Frankly, we took a page from Steve Jobs' book. We realized that the users of tomorrow were in the schools today and that it would make a lot of sense to help them understand this field and get prepared for when they got out in the real world. And, and hopefully there's some goodwill that comes from doing that that uh, would make some better Catalyst users. So early on, we began hooking up with people like Bill Hamilton, one of the leaders in, uh, in legal e-discovery education, frankly, and the program here, and said, we want to help. We'll be happy to come give lectures. We'll be happy to share our materials. But most importantly, we'd be happy to set up sites that the students could use to simulate the entire process, to learn about search, to learn about processing, to learn about review and review workflow and uh, more recently to learn about analytics because that's what's powering the industry today. And if we don't have users that understand these concepts and have time, then we hurt ourselves. Well, as I'm an sure industry. they very, very much appreciate it. And before I let you go, what advice would you give to a 1L who's coming in fresh? You know, it starts with, um, and I assume I'm talking to trial lawyers, uh, people who want to be in litigation, because it'd be different advice to a real estate lawyer course, or somebody I don't course. know so much about. But understand that in litigation today, far fewer than 1% of the cases actually go to trial. I went to law school Good thinking point. of Atticus Finch and my chance to stand up against the town and, and, and persuade the jury. And, and, and you still live for that, but understand that it's a small percentage and that most cases litigation today is fought out during the discovery phase. So you want to be the best at it. And there are tools and processes that can make you be more effective. And those who know those tools are going to have an advantage over those who don't. So by learning this stuff early on, along with learning the rules for motions to dismiss or civil procedure, what have you, but getting to understand the tools of your trade, 
you're going to be better and you're going to advance, either advancing through what has become a, a whole career based around electronic discovery, but if not, uh, advancing right in your law firm because you're the person that knows the data and where it is and what's in it, and that puts you in a position to be the person that they want up in front of the jury. Well, that's really great advice, and personally, I thank you so much for all the kindnesses you gave me when I was at ALM. Well, thank you. So, thank you, and this is Monica Bay, and thank you very much for watching.